Hello, my name is Henry and today I'm going to be talking about how I got a 9 in GCC Maths. Now you can do the same thing and improve your grades in Maths. I'd just like to say thank you firstly for all the support in my last video, I really appreciate it and I'm going to try and release all of the videos that you've asked for in the comments so feel free to leave any more suggestions for videos you want to see and hopefully I'll get through all of them. Please make sure you leave a like and subscribe now and for those of you that are new to the channel what I'm trying to do is just release a lot of videos about how I got all nines in my Jesus season, all my revision advice, things like that. And I'm just going to try and release as many as I can, kind of get as much content out there. And then next year, I'm going to kind of re go over it again, but make sure everything's higher quality. So a bit of background for me in maths. Maths wasn't always my strongest subject. It was actually one of my weakest subjects. I struggled a lot with confidence in maths. So in year 10, I was kind of working at about five or six level in tests. So I, I was, I came from a strong start, but I still struggled a lot. And I was getting sort of 20, 25 out of 80 in proper practice papers. So five, fours level as well. And I managed to get a nine, like I've said. And a lot of this, I think, involved building confidence as well. So I'm going to talk about that too. So math to revise isn't actually that difficult. I don't think, I think it's probably the easiest subject to revise. And it's quite a simple step-by-step -step process that I would recommend to get a nine in maths and it is very simple or just to improve your grade in maths. So firstly, what I did was I used my Excel spreadsheet. I created a spreadsheet. So I had every maths topic listed and then I would rank each topic where my confidence was in it from three to a one. So one if I was very confident and three if I wasn't confident. I've released a video on this now. So make I've released a video on this so make sure you check it out now. It's just about my spreadsheet technique, and this is actually available to buy. Uh, I'll leave a I'll leave a link in the comments to buying this, and I can customize one for you for those of you who are unable to make it or would just like it bought for them. I'll also send you just a five minute video as well with any questions. So check the link in the description if you would like to get that um, pre made for you. But what this spreadsheet helped me do was it helped me immediately and clearly see what I needed to improve in maths, and that was the threes. The things that I was terrible at and the specific topics I was bad at. This is really important because it's not much use revising things you're gonna get, when you're gonna get the questions right a lot of the time, but later on this will help too. So my main technique for maths involved Corbett maths. I'm gonna leave a link as well to this, and specifically Corbett maths five a day. So I talked about this in my last video too, in what I would do in the last four months. And Corbett Maths is definitely one thing I did in maths that really, really helped. I'm going to show you now a bit more detail about this. So here you go. So this is the Corbett Maths website here. I've just searched Corbett Maths and this is what the logo looks like. And this is what I talk about when I say five a day. Five a day, GCC nine to one. So here it has sheets for one a day in different levels here. And they describe what they're aimed for here. So I'd pick one of these, which ones you're aiming for. So Foundation Plus is four, five, six. Higher is board aimed students aiming for six and seven. So I would pick this and then go to the day. So today is the 15th of February. So here's February the 15th. And say I wanted higher plus, so eight and nine. I'd click on that. And it just comes up with five questions. Sometimes it's six, but it's sort of five a day thing. And I would just complete all of these. It takes about 10 minutes. The next thing I'd do is mark them. And this is the key bit, is any questions I got wrong or didn't understand, I would do one of these things to help me. So either YouTube, I'd Google um, kind of the subject topic that the question was on that I didn't understand. And there are lots of good YouTube channels for that. I can put a link in the description if you'd like for ones I recommend on specific maths advice. I would talk to a parent. If your parents are good at maths, good at GCC maths, or the kind of topics that you're doing and that's also helpful if you have a tutor i'd kind of recommend going through them with them a little bit or a teacher i'd bring it in and just ask them hey can you help me with this question and this is really important this is kind of the whole um most important thing about maths is that you need to know what you're bad at and then just get good at that it's really simple three is past papers so now i'd be doing cold maths once a day every day pretty much if i miss a day it's fine um, i'd always try and catch up and what I would then do is kind of once every two weeks, I'd say I would do a past paper on maths, maybe once every three weeks or once a week, depends on how much you want to do. I'd probably recommend once every two to three weeks. And I just do the same process here. So I'd sit and do a timed maths GCSE paper, a past paper. I'd go through it, then I'd mark it, 
And then any questions I got wrong, all I'd do is I would find out where I went wrong and what I needed to do next. And this allows me to just work out what I'm bad at, get good at it, and then in the exam, I'll be good at pretty much every technique that can possibly come up. Obviously, there are harder questions and more difficult questions that might throw you off, but this is kind of the basis for getting a really high grade in maths. And the spreadsheet comes into this as well, because this allows you to see which things you're bad at, which topics you're bad at. So I'd do the same thing there. It's just kind of YouTube, practice, questions as well. So lots of practice questions on that topic I would do if I struggled in a topic, and or go to your teacher, anything like that. So that's what I'd recommend in maths. Finally, it's really important just to understand the basics in maths. So make sure you're things like algebra and equations. And if you're not confident on these, then it's just the same process of YouTube, practice questions, talk to your teacher. So to summarize in maths, the key thing I did in maths was work out what I was bad at and then learn that and get good at that. And this can be done with time, looking at YouTube, trying to find a channel that works for you, explains things well for you, or a teacher that you like. And then I would just go away and practice this. And next time it came up, I'd hopefully get it right. And if I didn't, then I'd put more effort into it. So that's how I got a nine in maths and how you can improve your grade. Once again, I'll put the link to the spreadsheet that I can make for you if you'd like um, down in the comments. And yeah, good luck with that.